Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a vertical and horizontal lines inside your app. So go ahead and open up Android Studio and open up the resource and then open up the layout and double click on the activity underscore main .xml file. Okay, so as you can see here on the right side, we have two text views. First one says vertical divider online, and the second one is horizontal divider online. So beneath this, beneath the first text view is where we're going to draw the vertical line, and be, and beneath the horizontal line is where we're going to draw the horizontal line. So those lines are actually Android views; they are part of the views. But to be able to access them or use them, we will do something like this. So I'm going to first add a vertical line. So I'm going to do that below the text view. And as you can, as you can see here, I have the root layout as linear layout, and the orientation is vertical. Beneath the first text view is we're going to add the view. And to do that, we'll do view. And you choose the first option. And then you have to give it a layout width and layout height. Now, if when we want to draw a vertical line, we usually give the layout width as a wrap content, while the layout height would be the thickness of the line. So, for example, if we want the line to be really thick, then we can give it a value of any value that's greater than zero. So we will start with 1dp and I'll show you how it looks like. So here I have 1dp as the layout height and then let me just close this. So you can see that you can actually see some, anything because the, the thickness of the of the view or the line is so thin I mean, let me just try and zoom in. You can you can actually see anything. But when I when I click on the actual view here, you can see it's being highlighted. But okay, now let's try and increase the layout height, which is the thickness of the of the line to something like 2 or let's say we make it 4 dp. So you can see the thickness have increased right but you can still but you still can't see anything now the reason why you can't you can't see anything is because the the background color for this view is actually you can it's, uh, you can say it's white or transparent so to to be able to actually see the line you need to give it a background color and let's do it like this so it's Android background and we'll give this let's say color okay let's say we choose color accent all right now you can actually see the line so this is the thickness of the line because we chose 4 dp so 4 dp or the layout height represent the thickness of the of the line that you want to draw if we go back to one you can see the, the line is so thin, but you can still see it, and you can change the background color for this line to whatever color that you want. But for this example, we're going to use the color accent. And you can increase this to 5 dp. If you want it more thicker, you can make it 8 dp. And you can see that on the right side, that the thickness do actually increase every time you give it a higher number, a higher value. So if let's say we make it 12 dp, I'm sure you got the idea. The more you increase the number, the high, the, the, the more thickness this line will be. Okay, uh, let's go, let's revert back to, uh, we'll make it 3 dp. All right, now you can, you can add 
any attributes that you want for example if you want to add a margin from the top and bottom or if you want to add a margin that surround the view or the line you can actually do that so let's say we'll do Android and margin we need some margin that surround the view so we can do something like this and uh, let's give it 10 dp and you can see this margin applies to this view so previously the view was close to the edge of the screen from the right and the left side but when we give it a margin of 10 dp then this margin surround the line which the result will look something like this okay you can even add a margin top so this was a margin top if let's say you don't want to add a margin that surround the whole view you only want a margin from the top you can do something like this let's say 20 dp and you can see we've given a margin from the top and this is the result and you can customize that to you can actually customize this to to whatever requirements that you have but this is basically the result and this is how you can actually draw the horizontal sorry the well this actually sh this should be actually the the vertical line but oh mind we'll just change this text view to horizontal sorry about that horizontal line okay and let's change this one to vertical vertical okay okay really sorry about the confusion just now all right so this is how you can actually draw a horizontal line okay now let's go to the next part which is drawing a vertical line and we'll do that below the vertical divider line text view which is here and to do that you still you want to use view but be careful there is a difference between a view with a small letter v and the capital letter v so the capital letter v is what we want and don't get yourself confused with the other one okay so be careful you should start with capital v and for this vertical line it's a bit different small changes you need to do for the layer width and height so you can get the vertical line and to do that for the layout width you will use uh, the layer width will actually represent the thickness of the vertical line so we'll do that we'll give it let's say uh, thir 3 dp okay and for the layout height would be wrap content okay I know you still don't see anything let's give this a background color and Android background and uh, we'll, we'll choose color accent and let's close this oh sorry about that let's, all right let's close the tag I can see the line is on the left side here okay let's give this a margin from the left so you can actually see it or you know what let's let's make this in the center and uh, we'll do that by Android and lay out gravity and we will choose center okay now it looks much better than before and you can see this is the vertical line that's the same thing you can increase this thickness the thickness if you want to from 3dp to let's say 10 dp and you see on the right side the thickness of the vertical line have increased all right now the only difference between the 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 horizontal and the vertical line they are actually using the same view tag as you can see here but when you look at the vertical line you will actually be working with mostly the layout height so the layout height for the vertical line is the is the is the attribute that represent the thickness of the line while if you go to the horizontal sorry this is the vertical uh, this is the horizontal so the layout height represents the thickness of the the horizontal line while if we go to the vertical line here the layout width is the value that represents the thickness of this line this is this is the only changes this is the only difference between these two views. They are the same views, just the 
the values for the layout width and height are a bit different and that's the one that plays the role here in terms of determine whether you want it whether you want this in a vertical or a horizontal line while for the background is the color that you should apply for the for the line and you can for example let's say you don't want this view to take the whole uh, space or let's say the, this vertical line you want to reduce the the height right what you can do here is we're here in the vertical so you go to the layout height and instead of wrap content you can give it a, a value let's say 60 dp and you can see the height of the vertical line have reduced based on the this value which is 60 dp uh, you can increase it to 80 dp if you want to 80 dp otherwise you can just leave it as it is which is wrap content and this is the result all right like i said you can st still change the background color so instead of accent you could give it the primary color color primary and here is the color primary for the vertical line you can customize that to whatever uh, requirements that you have and you will see the result like this okay so this is the result now let's give this a run and let's see how it looks like in the emulator so I have my emulator here running uh, go ahead and click on the run button and this is the emulator that I have right now so I'm click on OK okay so build is complete let me open up the emulator and here is the result we have a horizontal line and we have a vertical line all right so that's basically it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you do do give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials click on the subscribe button and if you need any help with the code do go ahead and email me and i'll do my best to help you out thanks again for watching and happy coding.